Hey guys, Jillian from Ellery Grace here. Um, I wanted to do a quick tutorial of how I edit my photos, um, mostly in Lightroom, and then flip it over to show you a little bit of what I do in Photoshop. Recently, I had um, I've had quite a few people say to me, oh, it must take you forever to edit your photos, or, you know, passive aggressive comments that I do all my work in Photoshop and that's just not true um, and while it is true I do some and I do manipulate my photos some in Lightroom that's that's the norm so what people do you bring it into Lightroom and you make a few adjustments um, if you don't then usually what you're left with is a pretty boring photo so that's part of the artistic creation here so um, here is one photo I'm choosing to show you how I edit. So I took this in, um, I don't even remember, I think it was October, September, October. It was in a beautiful foggy morning. This is the edited version. Um, I'm gonna walk you through what I did to get to the, um, to get back to this spot here. And this is the non-edited version. So as you can see, they're not too different. Just some color variances and <laughs> a beautiful little glow. So let me start here. Um, actually, hold on one sec. I should have written down what I did here. Just want to give you a kind of an exact like match of what I've done. So it looks like I dropped my highlights. I increased my whites and dropped my blacks, which is typical for me. Um, I like more of a contrasty photo. So I'm going to drop my blacks here. I'm going to pull up my whites. I think I dropped my highlights kind of significantly here. Okay. And then um, now I'm going to go and I'm going to straighten the photo here. So usually try auto. Um, I'm actually surprised it worked on this photo because there is no clear um, line that it, it can kind of reference to know. Um, how to straighten it, but it seems to work when I do that. It might be a little bit crooked, so let me come back here and I'll adjust a little bit more. I'm gonna go a little bit fast just because I only have 15 minutes, so. So I'm lining up with his feet, really. Okay, that's okay for now, so let me come back here. Um, seems this one, a little bit more contrasty, I think. I mean, that looks like... Okay, so now we get to the subject himself. So if I come here, I am going to first try to brighten him up just a little bit. So I'm going to increase my exposure with my brush. And these are called local adjustments. And what I was doing before um, were called global adjustments. Okay, now I'm going to add a little texture here ba, 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 texture love adding texture it's my favorite thing to do okay so a little texture i might drop my blacks here too and as you can see it kind of gives his clothes bit of texture. <laughs> okay. uh, what I'm also going to do is come over to his face and add a little texture on his eyelashes too. Up close, doesn't look like it does that much. Um, let's see here. Let's fit to the screen. Close here. So we're still a little bit that I'm gonna bring my blacks down a little bit more. Yeah, that's a little bit more aligned with what I had over there. So if I come too far, you can see that it looks like I have a vignette and that's not what I'm trying to do. Um, and I think it's just creating that look because these are the darker sides of the picture. Um, but I do like a darker photo, so I'm, I'm a little okay with it kind of being like that. And you can see in the, the previous folder that I had done, it up here. I pulled down my blacks quite a bit here too. So 62, 31, 68, that makes sense. Okay. So now 
from over here. So I'm going to add a little bit of warmth. He looks a little cold. Let's see what I did here. So 6-2. Nope, I didn't touch that. I wonder if I did it over here. Let's see. Yeah, I did. Clary dehaze. I pulled some dehaze off of him. Okay, should have done. I should have looked at this before I um brought you guys over here, but I apologize. So I bumped my clarity up a little bit. Wrong way. Well, dehaze. You can see him a little more. That makes me feel better. Run that here too. Okay. So fun part. <laughs> is our candle. And so there's a little fake candle in there with a flame that was, well, a fake flame that was going, but um, I ended up, you can't see it. So <laughs> I ended up creating a filter here, a radial filter, exposure. I bump my exposure way up and I bump my temp way up. And I start there and then I sort of adjust it. So here you can see a little bit of a glow. You know, and some photographers want it to look super real, and then some don't care if it looks super fake. Um, sometimes I like to be just in the middle, and then other times it's like, however I get it done the first time is fine. Like, I actually think that's fine, and that's not too far off from what I have here. So after you do, you know, after you've practiced a lot and you figured out kind of... Um, the temperatures that you like for certain things or the types of textures and clarity that you like for certain things, it's a breeze. You bump right through it. If I didn't have to come back and reference this just to sort of get it close to what I had before, um, this would have taken me two minutes. You know, it's taken me seven so far and that's just because I'm talking a lot and I'm pausing. But this literally took me two minutes to do. Um, Sometimes I go back through and just because I enjoy doing this, I mean, that's another thing. You know, people say, oh, it must take you forever to edit. It's like, well, on the ones that sometimes it does, it's because I'm, I enjoy it and I literally just feel like tinkering around in there and playing and why not, right? Um, we don't say that to painters. We don't tell painters, oh, it must take you forever to do that with, with sort of an undertone of, you know, you clearly don't know what you're doing because it takes you so long. So, oh, I gotta get rid of that guy. If I click it though, it's gonna pull it up, so. Um, okay, so that's kind of it for that photo. And we can do a quick before and after. I always love showing people before and afters. Let's see. So if I take here, cycle before, before and after. In between, not much of a difference, right? Well, that's because that's on the wrong photo. <laughs> there it is. I'm like, there's not much of a difference there. Not much of a difference, right? There is a difference in this one. Um, so yeah, in some cases, some people might actually want to remove the poles. I thought they added to the story here. I, I really liked them, so I left them there. So. Okay, so for our next photo, I'm gonna take you over here. And as you can see, this photo is a little bit um, on the yellow side, which is fine. It was just the time of morning that we took this picture. Um, and I edited, I edited it to look like this. So um, my original edit in Lightroom, which is all we might get to at this point today is um, just due to time is it looked like this. And the difference between these two photos, if you look, there's lots of branches here. I pulled them out in Photoshop. Now, I didn't have to do that, but I had no control of that in camera. You know, people say, you wanna get it right in camera. Sure you do, but I'm not gonna go around breaking off branches on trees. It's just not my thing. So, um, so that's really the difference between what I did in Lightroom and what I did in Photoshop. So anyway, let me see if I can get, I'm actually just gonna copy these um, adjustments here. So we've got, um, I dropped exposure, I increased the highlights, increased shadows a little bit, dropped the blacks, uh, dehazed. Okay, so let's play around here. 
So increased my exposure. Yep. Brought my highlights all the way up. Just a little bit of shadows. Uh, blacks. And then let me see. Let me go back here and see how I let me dehaze my photo 12, 3. Okay. Negative 26. So I actually brought it down quite a bit here. Uh, doing this over, I'm not quite sure if I'd go that low again. So I'm going to stop there. And I know to get rid of that yellow. Um, that's not what I did. Did I do the luminance? Oh goodness, you guys! I forget what I did for the for bringing the. I thought that's all I did. Hold on one sec. Yeah, I dropped the blue saturation down, and my temp is at five hundred, five thousand. Okay. Blue saturation. Okay, so this one's not going exactly as planned, but as you can see, um, this one's a little bit more gray, and I think, I know what it is, I brought my exposure up instead of down. That's exactly what it is, so let's go this way. Here we go. That's a little bit better. Okay. Okay, so that's pretty much what I did in Lightroom, which took us to here. Um, I did add my something's missing, you guys. Let me copy these settings here, and I'm gonna a little bit better, but. I'm not quite sure what I'm missing here, so um, I'm going to make these adjustments after the fact. Okay, so I'm going to light up our lantern. Again, I'll take this guy, um, bump exposure, bump warmth, and kind of bring it down here. So we'll actually go a little bit warmer and a little bit brighter. I'm gonna hide the little candle in there too with that. Okay. Cool. Okay. So I have two minutes to show you what I would do in Photoshop. So I'm gonna jump into Photoshop here. And again, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of being a little bit nitpicky, otherwise this would take me five minutes, but I'm, I'm annoyed that I can't seem to get that gray color back. I don't know what I did differently. Last time, um, I'll play around with it, probably when this video is done and figure it out in half a second. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh. <laughs> you can see some other work that I've done. Uh, let's see. It's just taking a minute here. This is my, okay. All right, so all I did in here, this takes two seconds, I come in, I grab my spot healing brush, and I start cleaning up the brushes, I mean the branches. So this takes a few minutes, depends on how picky you wanna be. Um, I can either get super picky or not picky at all. But basically, I just come in here and clean up any distractions. That's all I did in here. I did nothing, nothing crazy. Nothing's really fake. I mean, I guess if you say you're cleaning up the branches that were in there, that's fake. But <laughs> I'm not adding anything. Um, there's not much I did for adjustments that weren't already there in camera. I just really enhanced what was already there. So um, I could take you through this, but you get the gist. I'm literally just cleaning up the branches and some of these leaves here. I pulled out this big, huge branch. 
just takes some of the distractions away and puts the focus back on him. Like when I get rid of this whole branch, you'll see. So if I pull it back over to Lightroom and I show.